If you have a ball or a pillow, have it. I'll wait for you. I'm not going anywhere. A ball or a pillow. A ball. Hi, Debbie. You're muted. Yes. Get a ball or a pillow. A ball or a pillow. It's most, it's not really for weight, even though I have, this is a med ball. Yay, yay, yay. Ball or pillow for today's workout. We're using it all workout. Hi, Lindsay. Um, uh, we're doing a flow today. So we're going to do a one minute, uh, a move for one minute, then flow right into a 30 second, then flow back into a one minute, flow back into a 30 second for the whole time. Um, and then little Tabata or little pushes in between. Um, with a different move and then uh, Tabata finisher. And maybe there's a finisher after the finisher, like a finisher after the finisher after the finisher. <laughs> and we're just gonna keep doing finishers. <laughs> we're never finished. Um, okay, let's have a great workout. Water, music. Um, yeah, there's my girl, Gabby. All right, I already told you this last night. Hi, Whitney, ball or pillow, ball or pillow, ball or pillow. All right, let's go. I'm gonna, you don't need it for the warm up, so just put it down beside you before we uh, get going crazy with our soccer drills and stuff. Just kidding. I'm totally kidding with that. Okay, let's, uh, whoops, don't have to take that. Down. Play, start. Okay. Let's warm up our bodies. Nice sumo like squat or second position. Squeeze that booty and big deep breath in. Oh, shoulders down your back again. So I want you to engage your core right away. I want your shoulders away from your ears right away. Good job. And just reach across your body. Oh my gosh, feel that twist in your hips. You're reaching over there like to get something. Reach across to the other side. And one more, keep that shoulder away from your ears. Feel your core light up. And other side. Good, bring your arms around, big arm circles back. Open that chest up. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your core. Last one back, come forward. Forward. You're breathing in and out, still exaggerate it. Open up your arms, hug yourself, really give yourself a big love. Love hug, hug love, love hug. Good job. Get that leg, squeeze it in. Just squeeze it in. Oh, pull it a little over into the center. Good job. One more, each side, good. Now give it that big hip opener, big hip opener. Good. One more, we're just gonna go outside on these and I want you to reach up because I want you to fold at your hips right now because we're gonna do this in our workout a little bit. Fold over, send that booty up. Hands come to the floor. Touch the ground if you can or touch your shins. Give a little bend in your knees. Send that booty back up. Roll up. Reach up. One more time. Fold over. Good job. Bend those knees. Send that booty back up and come back up. Grab that ball, your first or pillow. Grab your ball first or your pillow. Version one right here, come with me. You're, you're just holding your hands. You could have a kickstand. Go down. Row and then come back up, or you turn that into a single leg deadlift. See what and row when you're down in the balance, come back up, go back down, row in that position, <laughs> row in the deadlift position. Okay, so we are just get your balance may be off. That good morning for the first round may be it. Not that well, it's kind of like a good morning, but that kickstand. Okay. I want you to go where you feel stable. So this is our first round. And then you pick it up. You can even go to a balance. We're staying on one leg. <clears throat> yes. Shoulders are away from your back. Good, last one right here. And now I want you to hold the ball and we're gonna get funky going under with our knees right here. So you're just marching and passing that ball under. This is how you go down the basketball court. I'm just kidding. That's how I go down the basketball court and I'm on nobody's team. Let's go, just pass it under. Hi, Margaret. Uh, yes, bring that knee up. Feel that crunch in your core. We're gonna hit nice and low, beautiful. That was 30 seconds, flowing right into the next move. Other leg is on the ground now. Go into that single leg deadlift with a row. 
and back up. You feeling warmed up already, or this is your stronger side? Hit that balance at the top. You press into the ground to initiate. Oh, I forgot my row. Come into go down in the deadlift position. Row. Come back up. Deadlift position. Row. Come back up. Pressing into the ground with that foot that is married to the ground. They're in a long-term relationship. Hi, Margaret. Woo! That was me looking up and losing balance. Good job. Ugh. Find a spot that's not moving. That's gonna help you. Keep going. <laughs> or just do the kickstand. Bro, squeeze that booty at the top. Bro. Beautiful, bring both your feet together. You are using this like it's a kettlebell. And a kettlebell, you just hinge your hips and then give me the squat. Okay, you are not squatting with the kettlebell. You are just putting it through your legs. Your legs just have a micro bend during that swing. Shoulders stay down. Send that booty back. Ah, you can get funky with that ball. You have a ball in your hand. You can do like a little toss. Give me one more. Back to your single leg deadlift. Switch to the other leg this time. Here we go. Shoulders down your back. I gotta face this way, that felt weird. Okay, press the uh, row when you're down. I just wanna keep forgetting that row. Again, you could be in kickstand, or you go into the single leg, into balance. Shoulders are away from your ears. Yes, good job everybody. This is really good for lower back. Your booty and your core. But focus on that navel against your spine. Row when you're in that down position. Woo! Ain't no shame in that kickstand game, okay? You can put that foot back and use it as a stabilizer. Fire up your booty. If this is where you are this morning, this is beautiful. Last one. Good, come up to that march. Pass it through. Dancing with it. Ugh. Pick up speed. Ugh. Really? Bring that knee up. This is like a gentle high knee. Yes, you have a pillow, just pass it under. Ugh. Ugh. Good job, everybody. Yes, under, under. Ugh. Good job. Other leg on that deadlift, other leg. Here we go. Here we go. Down. Row it when you're down. Whoa, press into the ground to come up. Shoulders away from your ears. Row and back up to balance. Guys, it got really cold out. Ooh. Okay, keep going. Row it. Ooh. Press into the ground. Send that leg back. Shoulders away from your ears. You can kickstand. You can totally kickstand. I love the kickstand, actually. Make sure you're pressing that foot that's on the ground into the ground. Keep your shoulders square. Breathe. You got this. Navel the spine. Last one. Hit that squat with the kettlebell swing. Swing it, arms up, and squat. So you are hinging at your waist with that pretend kettlebell in your hands. And then it cut, arms come out in front. You wanna give yourself a little ball toss? <sighs> Go for it. This fun. Ball or pillow, totally fine, either one. Good job, last one. Beautiful, go right back into that single leg deadlift. Here we go. Press that ground away. Row in that flat position. Come back up to balance, or you got the kickstand. Oh. Press that ground away. Oh. Good job, everybody. Yes. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Warm it up. We are warmed up now. I'm officially sweating. Good job, good job, good job. 
It's easy to forget that row at the bottom. There it is. Keep going. You're breathing. Don't hold your breath. Beautiful. Last one. Good. Come up to that march and pass it under. Pick up a little speed, which means just bring your knees up faster. Pass it under faster. Yes. I want your core so involved in this knee lift. Squeeze that booty. When that foot hits the ground, squeeze your butt. Activate everything. You got this. You got this. Good. Go right in that single leg or kickstand. Here you go. Over, grow, up to balance. Make sure that balance is in there this time. If you're not doing the kickstand, you most importantly, you do you. Good job. You got this, you got this, you got this. Squeeze that booty, press that foot into the ground to initiate that movement up, using all the muscles in the back of your leg to your booty, to your core. Press it, press it, press it. That leg on the ground is doing all the work. Well, like 85% of it. Give me one more. Ah, good. Hit that squat kettlebell right here. Whoa, I dropped my ball. Be careful with the ball toss. <laughs> Hand to the hips. Send that booty back. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Yes. God, I love this move. Time. That was circuit one. Put your ball down for a second. You got 40 seconds. Or your pillow. Towel off if you need to. Take a sip of water. We got two minutes of work right here. One of it. One minute is a push-up. The other is a hollow hold. Use that ball on one hand. You're offsetting your push-up, okay? It's called an offset push-up. So if you do not have a ball and you have a pillow, it's not gonna offset you that much. So offset your hands. Put your hands at an angle, okay? Join me right now. Otherwise, I want you in push-up position. I want two push-ups. Roll the ball to the other side. Two push-ups. Keep that neutral spine. So you don't have a ball. You are offsetting your hands. One is further in front than the other. Press that ground away. Keep that spine neutral. And breathe. You are exhaling every time you push that ground away. Elbows go 45 degrees back. Beautiful. Shoulders, core, everything's lit up. Put your knees on the ground if you have to. You are under five. Last two. Good job. Get that ball or pillow, come onto your back. Right here. I want you to put it behind your head and I want you to bring your feet up and squeeze. Scoop out that belly. And then give me a roll to the side. Hold that ball up off the mat or the pillow. Come back to center. Squeezing everything. Roll to the other side. Ooh, don't roll over. Use that core to control. Come back to center. Roll back to the other side. Oh, hold that pillow far behind you or your ball. And roll to the other side. You have to use your butt cheeks and your core to move you. Don't use your shoulders. Don't use your shoulders. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze your butt. Activating the core. Roll. Good job. Keep going. Keep going. You got this. You got this. Roll. Really, really. Otherwise, you can hold it in hollow hold if you don't want to roll. Good job. Yes. 
Guys, that was two minutes. You did two minute push. Good job. We have another circuit that we're gonna stand up for. And then our and then we'll be on the ground again, right? Let me make sure. Yes. Come on up. Come on up. Good job on that two minute push. Okay. So first move is a front lunge. And you're gonna pass the ball under as we front lunge. Okay. We're gonna do another pass under. Then after that, we're gonna do that catch and jump. I just switched it. Last time we did the catch and, catch and jump. Come here, come with me. I did it on the long part of the set. Front lunge, under. It's like a walking front lunge. Good job. You know what? Then go backwards. Pass it under. I can't fit another. Here we go. Rear. Oh, I did both legs. Come forward. Pass it under. So do walking lunges, as many as you can fit in your apartment, and then maybe you have to go backwards. <sighs> and pass it under. And it's okay if you come a little forward in that hinge, in, in your hips, you can hinge a little forward in a lunge, it's fine. Just don't put your knees over in front of your toes. <sighs> you can have that hip hinge, that's okay. It is not a detriment to the, form of the lunge. Use your core. Pass it under. Forward and back. Good job. Good job. Okay, guys. Pass me the ball. Take a jump shot. Stay on one side. Pass. Jump. Pass it. Jump. When Jen Gross goes to do this workout later, she's going to be like, ah! Here we go. Grab it, jump, or come up to your toes. You got this. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, here we go, rainbow lunges. Down low, over your head, over, up and over, up and over. You got a little minor pause in the middle, over. Squeeze that booty, hit that 90-90. You are breathing. You got this. Squeeze that booty. Nice mixture of low to high to low. Here we go. Keep going. Really squeeze that booty at the top. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Squeeze that core. You're almost there. Over. Down. Beautiful. Grab that jump shot from the other side. Other side. Jump. Other side. I'm throwing it to you. Catch it. Shot. Catch it. I want you to get a little lower. Have those like sporty, ready position knees. Jump. Good job. Catch it. Oh, get ready for your forward lunge walk right now. Pass it under. Walking. You know, you're just going out for a walk. I'm going to Food Town. Here I go. That's how I walk to Food Town. Reverse it, go back. Yes, just find your rhythm. You do you. Whatever you can fit in your apartment, your home. Keep moving. You got this. Yes. Oh, squeeze that booty. Pass it under. Pass it under. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Get ready in 10. It's time to go back on the court. Yes. Other side this time. Oh, yeah. Get it from the left side. Here we go. Passing it to you. Jump shot. Pass it. Jump. Pass it. Here we go. Oof. Try and get up to your toes or a little bit off there 
and off the ground. You do you. Just make that shot. I got you. Passing it to you. You're wide open. Good job. Rainbows. Side lunge rainbows. Down. Up and over. Other side. Up and over. Squeeze that booty. Squeeze it. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Good job, everybody. Breathe. Ooh, you want to pick it up a little bit. Pick up your tempo. Uh, squeeze. I want strong arms. I want strong back. I want strong core. Nothing's flopping around. Energy everywhere. You got this. Keep going. You got this. Under 10 seconds. Keep going. Keep going. Yes. Here you go. Get ready for your shot. Right side. Jump. Get a little lower. Come on. I know I got basketball people out there. I'm not one of them. In my head, in my mind, I'm really good at it. In reality, I stink. Here we go. Nice and soft when you land. But for all intents and purposes, it doesn't matter right now. Get it. Shoot. Last one. Right here. Okay. Walk it. Walk it. Pass it under. Pass it under is how you walk off the court after you just like slam dunked it. <laughs> Reverse. Pass it under. Give yourself that little hinge. It's okay. Help yourself with the ball going under the pillow, going under your legs. You can hinge in your back. All right, your hips. Press off. Picture yourself. Oh, I'm in a dance studio. We're doing this across the floor. Hi. Okay. Reverse. All right. Well, you do you. Whatever your space is. Good job. Good job. Oh, get it. Get that ball. Left side this time. Pass it up. Get it. Get a little lower in that pass. Explode out as you go for the shot. Get it. As you rotate, I want you twisting, contracting your core. Jump. Exaggerate that motion. Reach for that ball. Ah, last finish that shot. Good job. Let's go, rainbows. Down. And up, uh, squeezing. Oh, squeeze the ball in your hand or that pillow. Good job, everybody. Squeeze that core. Yes. Low to high. Low to high. Navel the spine. Fire up that booty. You want more speed, go for it. You probably don't, but go for it anyway. You got this. Yes, that's last time with the rainbows. Three, two. Oh, get it from the other side, right side. Jump. Here you go. Last time we're on the court. Jump shot. Work to your toes. Load it up. Yes, Helen. Yeah, Robbie. Robbie, you got a three pointer. You got this. Get it. Time. Time. We won. It was really that Robbie's three pointer at the buzzer. Got us across. Towel off. Take a sip of water. We have another two minute push. 
It is on the floor. Oh, yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay. I need a sip of water. Good job. Bear pillow. You got that sexy bear crawl with that roll. Okay, so you're going forward and you're pushing or tossing your pillow in front of you. Okay, let's go. Hit it. Navel to spine. You are tossing your pillow or rolling the ball and then catching up to it. Then put it underneath you and come back. Keep your butt down. Forward and back. Oh, if your ball goes to the side, then you have to follow it. Okay, maybe your floor is uneven. <laughs> Maybe you have a bumpy carpet. Maybe you just don't roll it straight. So many options. Keep your navel spine. Oh, your quads should be fired up. Keep that butt down. Don't let it creep up. It's gonna to wanna to creep up. Down, down, down. Flat back, don't spill your wine. Good job. Booty down, booty down, booty down. Three, two, one, get that ball. Come onto your back. I want dead bug tabletop legs. I want that arm pressed up. Every time your leg goes down, I want you to twist that ball in your hand or pillow. Come back. The leg and arm twist together. Lower back is pressed into the mat. Shoulders are pressed into the ground. And you are just gently rotating your arms as you extend that leg, okay? I want you to really have your lower back pressed into the mat actively. That takes a lot of work. You're breathing. Strong arm, that's beautiful, slight rotation. Oh, love it. Extend, lower back in the mat. Keep going. Breathe. You got this. Slight twist. Time. Look how fast two minutes goes with you guys. Okay, towel off. We are staying down for our last full circuit. Then we have a Tabata round and one more finisher. We have 35 finishers today. Okay. So you're on your back for the first one. You have 20, you have 20 seconds. I'll show you the first one. You are on your back. Feet are up in the air. They are strong. You are reaching up. Then come down, then give yourself a nice big straddle and reach through. Legs come back together, you reach up, okay? That's move number one. Then I'll tell you move number two when we finish move number one. So let's go right here, you have one minute. Reach up, open your legs to a nice straddle and reach through. So these are crunches. Open, good job. Keep that lower back in the mat. Really keep those shoulders away from your ears. When you do your straddle, really try and lead with your chest rather than your head. Oof. Lower back in the mat. Oof. Reach up, reach through, reach up, Oof. reach through. Ah, you're doing great. Up, through. You're breathing, get that tension out of your neck. Really reach. Good job, everybody. You got three, two, one. Put that ball right between your knees. We've done a lot of bridges this week and we're gonna keep doing it right here. I want you pressing on that ball or pillow and you are bridging. Squeeze the entire time. I'm gonna just read while I'm down here. Got it. Okay, squeeze. You are lifting, your butt is squeezed here, your knees are squeezing in on that ball or pillow, okay? You're not over arching your back. You wanna get the hip hinge out and just squeeze. Oh my gosh, beautiful, look at that. Good, here we go. Ball, hold it in your legs. You're squeezing at the top. We've done this one before. You are lowering and then raising up. If you need to put the ball closer, to the point of, of um, oh, what's it called? Like where the lever is, where that meets. If you need to move the ball closer to that point where the hinging's happening, then you do that. The further it is away, the harder it's gonna be. 
Keep that lower back on the mat and you are actively squeezing that pillow or ball together. If you need to put your hands under your butt for a little support, that is fine. Okay, feel that lower belly, get in there. Breathe. Good job. Oh, make sure you're breathing. Good job. Put your legs on the ground. Flip it over. We're doing a Superman. I want you to keep that ball between your legs. You're going to lift it up. Oh, keep your legs close. Yes. Squeeze that Superman. Shoulders are away from your ears. You are gazing out to the ground. Hello, world. I'm here to save you. Oh, here we are. On your exhale, I was you engaging your core. Look how fast that went. Flip it over. Flip it over. Get that ball in your hands. Your toe reaching. Toe reach. Straddle through. You can point your flex your toes. It doesn't matter. Reach. 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 Press that lower back into the mat. You're breathing. Don't forget to breathe. Good job. Reach. Reach. You got this. Keep going. Keep going. Smile. You're beautiful. Enchiladas. <laughs> Guys, obsessed with Shit's Creek. I was obsessed with Atlander, which I still am. Now I'm obsessed with Shit's Creek. I have um, Alexis's audition song in my head, if anybody's seen it. <laughs> ah, all right, bridge it out. Put that ball between your knees. Squeeze it. Squeeze that booty. Lift that booty up. Squeeze it. Look at, look at that butt. Squeeze it. Oh my God, it's so strong. You got this. Squeeze up more hard. Good job, everybody. You got this. Squeeze that hiney. This is very, very good for your lower back. Good job. Put the, that ball anywhere along your, le the le your legs, wherever you want to squeeze it. And then lower it and raise it back up. Do you need to put your hands underneath your booty for a little extra support to get that lower back to the mat? Do it. You can keep your shoulders off the mat or on wherever you are. That's where you are. Embrace that, challenge it. Oof. Squeeze that ball or pillow between your legs. Oh, hold it there. Good job. Oof. Yes, squeeze it. Oof. Make sure you're breathing. Oh, oh my lower core, my abs are on fire. Oh, good job. You're under 10 seconds, keep going. Ah, good job. Flip it over, you got those Superman. So for this Superman, the ball is kind of on top of my legs. I'm not clenching it. We'll just squeeze it between your legs. If you need it so that more of the mass is above your legs rather than equally distributed between the front and back. I feel like I'm trying to be a science teacher. Squeeze and reach. Squeeze and reach. Beautiful. Flip it over. How fast those 30 seconds go by. Get that ball in your hand. Last round. Toe reaches and straddle. Toe reach. Open those legs and reach through. Lower back. Press into the mat. Get those shoulders off the mat. Good job, everybody. Ugh. Hi, Sylvia. I just see that you're in here. Yay. Reach. You know your legs are fired up, right? You have energy in your legs. Ugh. Keep going. Keep going. You're almost there. You're almost there. You have less than a Tabata circuit time to go. Ugh. Reach. Ugh. Oh. 
I really want you to exaggerate that reach. Beautiful. Squeeze that ball or pillow between your legs. Get that bridge. Squeeze it. You are not letting your butt hit the ground. If it touches it, it's fine, but I want no plopping. Good job. Squeeze that booty. Good job, good job, good job. Squeeze. Beautiful. Now straighten those legs. Hold that ball between your legs. We got the lower and the raise up. Good job. I want your core so engaged here. I want you breathing, pressing that lower back into the mat. Squeeze that core, squeeze that core, squeeze that ball. Make sure you're breathing. You need to put your hands under your high knee, give you better leverage, get that back closer to the mat. Don't be afraid to do that. Right here. You'll feel your core activate a little bit more. Good job, good job. Yes, turn it over, Superman. Here we go, balls in between your legs. Oh, and you're reaching. Squeeze, engage that core. Find that length and breathe. You got this. Beautiful. Come back, just give yourself a child's pose. Move that ball out. You, let's see what we got. We got our tabata round. Awesome. We got two moves, which you know well, and we're doing them four times each. So a total of four minutes. Max effort. So first move, the ball stays on the ground and we're toe tapping it. You can go in a circle um, and pump your arms up. Then the second move is a slam. You got a pillow slam into the ground. Come on up, we got five seconds. Let's hit this. We're ending with a bang. Put that ball on the ground. Let's hit it. Pump those arms. Tap that ball or pillow. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Follow that ball. If it moves around, follow it. Navel is fine. Pumping the heart rate, getting that heart rate up. Time, time. I do need a sip of water. Get ready for your slams. You're gonna pick it up, boom. Don't really slam it if you can. Here we go. Up. You got a pillow or you're in a house, you can slam something and do it. You can let go of it. That feels amazing. Three, two, one. Put that ball on the ground. Get ready for your toe taps. Three, two, here we go. Tap it. Press those arms up. Very strong arms. You got this. Three, two, one. Time. Get ready for your slams. Here we go. Three, two, do it. Send that butt back. Yes. Send that butt back. Really get core strength as you go to throw it. Three, two, one. Put it on the ground. Take a breath. Here we go. Three, two, here we go. Press those arms up. Light on your feet. Shoulders away from your ears. And we're warming up for tomorrow. Tabata Thursday. Time, time. Hello, Ninja. 
जो है थ्री टू वन स्लैम इट गेज एट कोर एट द टॉप You got this. Three, two, time. Get ready for your toe taps. Take a deep breath in. Hit it. They're not high knees. Oh, reverse. If you're going in one direction, go in another. Time. Last slam. Last slam. Hit it. Last time. Max upper. Right here. Keep going. You're almost there. Three, two, one. Time. Breathe. Breathe. We have one more minute of work. Unless you're sticking around for arms, and it's like ten more minutes. Breathe. After we got our heart rate up, our stability is all going to be a little whack. So we're going to do the stabilizing exercise. First, I gotta catch my breath. We are coming onto the ground, and we're doing high plank, low plank, up, up. We're walking it up, up, down, down. Between each one, high plank. Tap your ball out in front of you. I want it a good distance in front of you. Come down. This is it. Start in high plank. We're only here for a minute. Squeeze that booty. Tap it. Tap it. Go down to low plank. Tap it. I want it out further. Tap it. You have to reach for it. Back up. Squeeze that butt. Oh, barely can get it from the high plank. Back down. Back down. Reach. Reach. Back up. Your hips are very immobile. I want them to try not to move them. Back down the low plank. Squeeze that core. Get that booty down. If it's up, go to your knees. No hinge in your hip. Squeeze, reach, really reach and tap that ball. Press that ground away when you're in high plank. Squeeze everything. Reach, shoulders away from your ears as you reach. Reach, reach. Time, you did it. Hit that child pose right here. Hit it. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Take a deep breath in. Walk those arms to one side. Feel that oblique stretch. Oh my God, it's good, so good. Send that booty back. Booty's going back. Hands are going forward. Feel that extra stretch deep down your side. Walk it to the center. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Walk it to the other side. Reach. Press that booty away. Reach with your arms. Good job. Walk it back to center. Come on to all fours. Press into the ground. Tuck your chin. Tuck your booty. Reverse it. Good job. Again, press that ground away. Tuck your tailbone. Tuck your chin. Oh, other way. Good job, everybody. Way to work it with the ball and pillow. One more time. Press that ground away. Cause that just feels so good. Beautiful. Come up onto your knees. Just get that 90-90. Let's get that hip flexor. Press that booty forward. Press that booty forward. And just come a little deeper. Press again and back. And a little deeper. Oh my gosh, that feels so good. Good. Press all the way back. Sit back onto that heel. Chest is up and proud and just lean forward. You could walk your hands forward. You could reach them forward. 
Keep your back proud. Don't let yourself collapse. Proud. Beautiful. Come back up to that 90 and switch your legs. Right here, it's the most subtle little tuck of that tailbone. Right here, feel that light up your front of your hip flexors. Breathe. Scoot that front foot out a little bit further and lean in. Press back, lean back in. If your knee bothers you on the ground, you can put a pillow underneath it. Okay, from this position, take a deep breath in. Exhale, press all the way back, sit onto that back leg, flex this front foot. You can walk your hands out or lift them up and reach. Just keep that chest proud as you hinge at your hips. Feel that back of your leg light up. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Put your hands onto the ground and then come back up to your one knee. Both knees on the ground now. Hands on the floor, tuck those feet behind you and hit that down dog. Oh my gosh, pressing those feet into the ground, pressing your hands into the ground, lifting that booty to the ceiling. Here you can lift that booty all you want, press it up to the ceiling. And slowly walk your hands in. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Roll it up. Roll, 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 roll. Nice and slow, all the way up. Roll those shoulders, whoa. Roll those shoulders down your back. One big roll, another big roll. Just give yourself the head, get that tension out. Oh my God, good job. Good job, everybody. You did it. Oh gosh. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that so much. At least I hope it was fun in some way. <laughs> it's Wednesday. Enjoy your Wednesday. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you so around if you want to do arms. If not, maybe I'll see you tomorrow for Thursday Tabata Mayhem. Okay? Oh, for sure. Be careful, Michelle. Okay. Throw away your flip-flops. I know. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm muting you back up. Grab your weights. Bye, bye, bye. Grab your weights. We're hitting our biceps today. My favorite thing to hit. Biceps and, oh, my favorite tricep. Let me grab, I'm grabbing my weights. <sighs> Let's get right into it. Let's keep burning. Let's keep working. Okay. Guys, I always laugh because I go back and just trim the edges, edges of these videos to put up on YouTube. And yesterday I had a pink shirt on and my sweat ring started here. Then it went here, then it went here, then it's <laughs> literally so. Same thing happened today. I just have a dark shirt on, you can't see it. Okay. I went hip, hip width apart with your feet. Uh, night, plant those feet into the ground. Knees have a nice micro bend. You're gonna send that booty back, we're hinging. Shoulders are rolled down your back. Bring those into a nice bicep curl and we're holding it right here. Navel is to spine. We are holding this for eight, seven. Yes, I count slow. Five, three, two, one. Now give me reps. They're not tricep kickbacks, it's a curl. It's a bicep curl, so squeeze that bicep. Shoulders down your back. Four, navel to spine. Five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, 10. Hold it here again, squeeze it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. We are gonna go down to the ground because this is really one of my favorite tricep moves. We've been doing it a couple weeks now. So on your back and your palms face your knees, okay? You can have your knees up, you can have it whatever, however you want, but your palms are, then they come down and back up, okay? So press it up. Your, your elbows, you're creating just greater than a 90 degree angle or less than actually. It's almost a 30 degree angle. And you press up. Your shoulder blades are in the mat. 
but you're not hitting your head with your weights. So your palms are facing your feet. When your arms are fully extended, your palms are facing down towards your feet, your knees. Let's do four. Oh my gosh, like nothing gets into my triceps like this. Three, two, one. I actually really don't know how many reps we did. I have to look back on that video because I just went to failure on that. So that means I couldn't do another rep. Come up, we're doing a cross body crawl. So we continue to go up and down. Okay, grab those, your weights. Roll those shoulders down your back. Uh, you can pick how you want your feet. You could have them super close, wide, whatever you're comfortable with. Make sure they have a little micro bend. And you are taking your palm, crossing it to your opposite shoulder. Okay, one, one. We're going for eight to 10. Two, two, three. You're breathing, three, four. Four, breathe five, five. Ugh. I want your navel to sign. I want your butt cheeks squeezed. Six, seven, seven, eight, eight. Good job, everybody. Nine, nine, ten. 10, beautiful. So that's our circuit. Now we're going back to the top. You take a second, I'm gonna wipe my hands off because they're sweaty. Take a sip of water. Shake your arms out, grab those weights. Palms are up, shoulders down your back. Feet are hip width apart. You got that beautiful bend in your knee. That booty goes back. It's lit up, navel to spine. Bring it in. 10, nine, eight. Squeeze your biceps. Five, navel to spine. Four, three, two, one. Give me 10 reps. 10, nine, strong wrist. Eight, seven, six. Squeezing that bicep. Five. Four, three, two, one. Come back up. Let's hold it. Eight. Squeeze it. Navel to spine. Five, three, two, one. Beautiful. Come out of that hinge. Yes, down to the ground. Down to the ground we go for our tricep extensions. It's a reverse tricep. Good, good, good. Reverse tricep extension. So arms go up, palms face down, shoulders far away from your ears. Elbows are also facing down with your palms. And then you bend, press it up. Keep those wrists strong. Two, navel to spine. Three, four. Five, breathing, six, seven, don't hold your breath, eight, two more, nine, press that back into the ground as you do that, ten, oh, is it just me or like, holy crap those get me, okay, cross body curls, cross body curls. Here we go. I might have one little extra bonus exercise at the end. We'll see where my arms are. Okay, ready. Shoulders down your back. You have that proud chest. I have hip width apart, soft knees, and we are crossing. Two. Navel spine. Five. Good job, everybody. Six. Seven. Keep going, we're halfway there, 10. Back down, 10, <laughs> nine, eight, seven, six, squeeze that booty, five, four, 
three, two, one. Beautiful. We have one round left. One round left to go. One more time through those three moves. Here we go. Grab those weights. Set, you got hip width apart. Send that booty back, navel to spine. Curl, bring it in. 10, nine, neutral spine. Seven, five, four, good job. Three, two, one, hit those curls. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. <laughs> These are getting hard. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up for one more hold. <sighs> hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Squeeze it. One. Gently put those down <sighs> on the ground. Triceps. Hit those triceps. I tell you, this is like the biggest, this is the challenge for me. This one. My back is in the mat. My palms are facing down towards my knees and bend at the elbow. A little greater than 90 or closer to your head. I guess that would be less than 90. It's more cute than obtuse. Okay. <sighs> Exhale as you press those weights away. <sighs> Five, six, you got this. Press it away, seven, three more. Protect your head. If ever you feel like you're gonna drop those weights, put those weights down. Two more, and one more. Yeah, yes. Last round of cross body curls. And then we're done with this circuit. And I may put one more little move in. Here we go. Palms up, shoulders down your back, feet nice and planted in the ground. Uh, soft knees, booty squeeze, navel spine. Hit it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go back up. 1, back up the ladder. 2, cross it. 3, Four, five, six, four more, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Rack those weights. Rack them up. Rack them up. Let's do 10 presses right here. 10, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes! Way to add the finisher. Good job. And bring your arm across. Just stretch that baby out real quick. Shoulders down away from your ears. Other arm. Good job, good job, good job. You could grab your hand and bring it back. You could also get onto the floor and do this. That's going to help stretch out your biceps a little bit, your wrists a lot bit. Over. Yes, give your wrists some love. Just come back behind you. Oh, yeah. Reach that hand down your back. Good job, everybody. That was fun. Release. One big hug. Squeeze those shoulder blades and now spread them apart. Spread them apart. Yes, you're done. 